Hey Lisa, this is Shannon. I'm gonna show you a few back exercises that will strengthen up your back to pull your shoulders open and make them a little stronger too. First of all, you need some dumbbells and we're gonna do a reverse fly, okay? Proper positioning, watch, I'm gonna turn to the side and let me see if I can get this camera a little bit. I forgot my tripod so I've got it hooked up here on a wedge. All right, so your first thing is proper positioning. So you want your feet about hip distance apart, and then you want to bend your knees, push your butt back a little bit, and tilt forward like you're looking over a cliff, all right? Then the next thing you do is grab your dumbbells and pull out and in, all right? So your goal, start with some light weight and just see where you get, all right? See what happens here. This is your proper position. This is not the right thing to do here. So keep your chest low, eyes on the floor or eyes up a little bit and just pull apart like you're spreading your wings and you're gonna get a squeeze right in the middle of your back. And that's gonna strengthen up your rear delts and some of those back muscles that you need to keep your shoulders safe. Don't let your hands come any higher than your armpit level, all right? So your dumbbells are here. I'm gonna tell you to start with a light set of dumbbells and do 12 reps or more if you feel good, right? Then take a couple of seconds to breathe, switch it to a heavier set. So if you start with eight pound dumbbells, go to tens. And then I want you to do 10 reps with that or 12 reps with that weight. And then I want you to go a little bit heavier, right? A little bit heavier. And you might notice that your range of motion is a little smaller. That's all right, that's all right. So go heavier and do eight reps, all right? So you're gonna go a lightweight, for maybe 15 reps, let's say 15. And then you're gonna go to a little bit heavier weight for 12 reps, and then you are gonna go to a really heavier weight for eight reps. Be sure that the weight level you have, you can still pull and get that squeeze, shoulder blades squeezing together. All right, that's my favorite back exercise. Next, regular row, same position. You've got your dumbbells like this, and the same thing, I want you to start with a, a lighter set, then go to a medium range, and then a heavier set, all right? Change the number of reps. So you're gonna start here, bend your knees, push your hips back like you're looking over a cliff, right? I'm gonna turn sideways. You're just gonna row straight back and straight down to your knees again. So this is your move, straight back, straight down. So try to avoid this kind of row. We wanna go straight back and straight down. And do the same amount of reps. And if you want to do a drop set, after the heavy set of weights, you can immediately go back to your light weights and do eight reps again. And that's going to build muscle quicker. So those are two of my favorite back exercises. Now I'm going to show you another one with band. Woo! All right. I like to do one arm rows, by the way, too, with a really heavy weight. That's up to you if you want to go that route. All right, I've got a band right here. And you could, it, hopefully you've got a door attachment. This is in my training studio, so we have a pull-up bar, and I just put the band on the pull-up bar, right? So your goal is to either stand here or go down on one knee, right? You can go down on one knee. Yeah, let's see if I can face the camera a little more. Uh, you wanna pull behind. So instead of pulling with your hands, you wanna make sure you're pulling with your elbows in the back of your arms, so you're once again squeezing those muscles in your back. So it looks like this, here. Here. And another way to do it is to get on one knee and lean back and do the same thing and that's going to get a little different muscle engagement for your rhomboids and stuff in your back. Next, palms in, pull straight in, straight in, and the whole thing is tilted forward. And then if you want to get back down on one leg, back and lean back, it's going to hit it at a different angle. So you can do the, the tilted forward one and you can do the tilted backward one. You're going to get a different angle each time which is good, you wanna do that. My suggestion to you, 24 reps, do the, do the pull behind 24 reps, switch it to underhanded reps, 24 of those. Take a break, switch it out, then do 24 reps with the leaning back, and 24 reps here, leaning back. And that's gonna give you some stronger back muscles. Another one is you can lay on your side, on the floor, Put a light dumbbell in your hand and open and close about three quarters of the way, right? And that's, you should feel that squeeze sort of under your, under your bra line. So it's just opening and closing. You can do it standing. It's more effective lying on one side. 
Let me know if these help you. I hope they do. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks.